What up, everybody? It's your boy, Colorado Carl, coming to you from the Globo Gym parking lot. Coming to you, if you can tell, it's dark, it's pitch black. It's 9.30, something like that at night. 8.30, my bad. 8.40. And lo and behold, I'm puffing on some old school sour diesel. Like uh, my favorite strain, until I actually started trying a bunch of different strains, and then I had a bunch of favorite different strains. And I just realized that there's so much good weed out in the world <coughs> that if it looks good, smells good, at least try it. Everybody knows, you know, some shit could smell good and look good and not be that potent, but you got to give some shit a try. And if you can do like I do and go to all the different stores that <coughs> at least 50% of them know what they're doing growing. And I don't have to go in there and say, oh, oh I can tell you guys use soil because of smell or this, that, or the other thing. And, you know, what are your yields like and so on and so forth. But, uh, you know how I do it. I always try to help and teach people. But, uh, yeah. Here goes a freshie. I'm getting up into the gym late at night. I'm just going to do this because I've actually been walking a fine line of madness with uh, females. Um, I just had one call me, um, my ex, as a matter of fact, and say she needs a ride from work. And I know what you're saying is, don't answer the call, don't this, that, and everything, but I'm lonely. I'm lonely. So I answer the call. And I'm a dude, can't hate on me, but I'm not going to try to be in a romantic relationship with her by any means. That's not what I'm about. Because I tried that. That didn't work. <coughs> oh. So I had my music all stalled. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Holy shit. Pardon my language, but oh, that's some good shit. Pardon my language. Uh, this song, Five Finger Death Punch, um, wrong, right, wrong Side of Heaven. It actually, the music video is very touching. It talks about war veterans. And much like their uh, music video, uh, Bad Company, um, where they're out in, in Afghanistan, like touring with some troops and visiting the troops and shit it they they know what's up they understand and not many people realize that when someone goes away to war or goes away to join the army the um the government is actually creating a killing machine they prepare you to kill and so you can go and kill for this country but when you come back they've created a killer and nobody knows about the aftermath. And so whether you do see battle or don't, you're gonna go through some traumatic shit just changing your life, just going to save this country, quote unquote. But a lot of people are trying to say that, you know, we're becoming a military state or a police state. The world, like the US Army and US Armed Forces can, can control the world pretty much. We are the largest superpower up against China and Russia, but um, I uh, I have hometown faith, so. But I don't have. I've got limited time tonight, so today, today's gonna be a short video. I sent it, sent out some shots to the vets before I cough my lungs up. So stay high, and I will get back at you soon. <laughs>